our mission was to um, to look how uh, pastoralism is is really working on the ground um, because uh, pastoralism has not that such a big importance in uh, in the field of development. So for us, it was important to see. Um, the influence of pastoralism, how people live, and how we can uh, um, improve their their normal daily life. Pastoralists are living. If I speak about in, in the parliament, I must know uh, how they are living, what are the problems of these people, and uh, that's uh, necessary to know what, what we can do to benefit them. In October 2015, Maria Hoiberg and Norbert Neuser visited Karamanjoa in northern Uganda. During their field visit, the two Euro parliamentarians participated in ceremonies, exchanged with pastoralists and met with experts. They discovered the need to have adapted policies to support this unique, sustainable livelihood and livestock keeping system. This visit was organized by the Coalition of European Lobbies on Eastern African Pastoralism, or CELEP, an informal coalition of European and Eastern African organizations, interest groups and experts. CELEP pushes the EU to explicitly recognize and support pastoralism in the drylands of Eastern Africa. The positive impacts of pastoralism can be understood by linking them up with the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Though it contributes directly and indirectly to many of them, it is important to stress its particular contribution to some of them. Pastoralism helps to attain SDG 1, which is to fight poverty. Next to being a way of life, it is also a livelihood and a very important economic activity. In many countries with large areas of dry land, such as Kenya, Ethiopia and Uganda, pastoralism contributes significantly to national economies. It also contributes to SDG 2 to achieve food security, improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Pastoralists produce sustainably nutritious foodstuffs such as milk and meat. They adapt to climatic variability thanks to their mobile production system. That way they also contribute to SDG 13 climate action. Lastly, pastoralism is responsible for a range of environmental goods and services which benefit not only themselves but also others. These include soil fertility, biodiversity, conservation and fire management and add to SDG 15. In Uganda, pastoralists mainly live in the northern part in Karamoja, where pastoralism is the dominant livelihood. So I don't After the disarmament operation in Karamoja, the security situation has improved a lot. Karamojong pastoralists are returning to their traditional sustainable grazing patterns. In many other parts of African drylands, armed conflict over land and cattle still occurs a lot. Access to water and food, as well as reoccurring droughts, also remain critical issues. <laughs> Yeah. 
Animal diseases are also very much affecting pastoralists. It is expected that due to climate change and rising temperatures, the prevalence of animal diseases will increase. Therefore, veterinary care and especially vaccinations are very important to pastoralists. I think we have to improve um, the conditions for daily life. So what, water is uh, the big, big issue. And I think it's, it's rather easy to uh, improve the situation um, on, on water with uh, concrete measures. So I know there is a big dam and uh, another smaller one, but it must be possible to have other um, possibilities to uh, save water to, uh, in, the, in the rain season, so that uh, water is not such an extreme challenge for the pastoralists. Because a lack of water can uh, be the, the basis of, of conflict. Yeah. I think it must be addressed uh, for them to get more uh, infrastructure, to get more education, to get education. The most don't have education. Uh, so uh, they need, I think, more health care for the people, also for the animal. And uh, if, if you bring education and and they have a lot of own knowledge and may, maybe uh, to bring it together uh, they also can, can create a better life but uh, you must do it together with them they must be involved in the ideas and plans and the projects I think uh, pastoralism is the only way in the dry areas to, to have livestock because uh, they are here, uh, they feed the, the, the livestock, the cattle, and then they move and the land can recover. And if you settle them and they have no chance to move, uh, they, they only have two possibilities. The one is to have less cattle, and the other one is they, the soil will cannot remove, the, the land cannot remove. And, then it's, it's the end. And though I think it's really a, a, a good way uh, to have cattle to move, the land can recover and in a later time you come back. And so uh, these people need free freedom and, and the right to move in, in the whole area. I think most of them live, live, uh, live happy, yeah? They, uh I asked several pastoralists uh, about the future for their for their children and they said we want to live in peace, we want to live without conflicts, we want to be sure that we have uh, water for our cattle, we want to increase our, our herds. So um, I think on this basis uh, they are quite happy but nevertheless they, are, they have to think about um, the challenges for, for the future and if international community can give um, support it would be great and it's, it's uh, possible to, to make. A lot of people in, in Europe also believe Europe is rich uh, in agriculture and so we can feed the world but that's not possible, that doesn't work. You, you see it here and you see it and, and a lot of places in the world. So in every region you must get uh, food b uh, by themselves and only so you can feed the people. And that's, uh, I think it's uh, necessary to tell the people in my country. <laughs> Nobody can die. 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 N